hello everyone let's provide a solution to this very quickly x plus 1 to the power of 4 equals 16 okay so what should we do x plus 1 to the power of 4 this will be equal to 16 here is um, 2 to the power of 4 so now that we have the same things we're going to bring it to the left we are doing this because we want to get all the solutions so we have x plus 1 to the power of 4 then minus 2 to the power of 4 equals 0 now x plus 1 to the power of 2 to the power of 2 is what we have here because we multiply to get back the 4 minus 2 to the power of 2 to the power of 2 okay so everything is equal to 0 so that means here we can get 4 right I'm doing this so that I can apply difference of two squares now from here if you have a plus b to the power of 2 this is a squared plus 2 a b plus b squared okay so I'm going to apply the same thing to so this um, what we have in the inside on the inside so a squared becomes x squared plus 2ab becomes 2 times x times b or b is 1 so we write 1 there right then plus b squared that will be 1 squared then this is what we have in the first bracket then minus 2 times 2 that will be 4 then let's see square on it put your square and equate to 0 x squared plus 2 times x times 1 is 2x 1 squared is 1 then let's see square on this then minus 4 to the power of 2 equals 0 now what can I do I can now apply my difference of two squares so that we have x squared plus 2x plus 1 then I will have plus 4 in one of the brackets then in the other bracket I will have x squared plus 2x plus 1 and I'll have minus 4 then I'll close the bracket sorry I wrote out of sight okay so I shall close the bracket and equate this to 0 now what can I do we have x squared plus 2x plus 5 in one bracket then in the other we have x squared plus 2x then we have from um, minus 3 and then this is equal to 0 so here we have two quadratic equations okay so here we apply zero product rule so it's either this is equal to 0 or this is equal to 0 so I'm going to work with this first x squared plus 2x plus 5 is equal to 0 I'm coming back to pick this right now I want to use the formula for this the formula is x equals minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac so everything divided by 2 multiplied by a now our a is 1 b is 2 c is 5 so x will be minus 5 okay minus 2 because b is 2 then plus or minus square root of b squared will be 2 squared minus 4 times a times 5 because a is 1 and c is 5 so we divide the whole of this by 2 times 1 which will still give us 2 now to continue let me continue from there x will now be equal to we have minus 2 plus or minus we have um, square root of square root of 4 
minus 4 times 1 times 5 will give 20. So we have 20 over there. Because 4 times 1 is 4 times 5 is 20. Then we divide this by 2. Meaning that x is equal to minus 2 plus or minus 4 minus 20 is um, negative 16. So we have square root of negative 16. Then we divide this by 2. So do not divide this yet because it's going to affect root 16. Now our x will be equal to um, square root of negative 16. Okay, let's get this first. Minus 2 plus or minus. Square root of negative 16 will give us 4i. The i is because of the negative, right? So we divide this by 2. Now what do we do? We can say that our x is equal to 2 will go there and the same 2 will go there. So we have minus 1 plus or minus 2i because 2 into 4 will give us 2. So we have the i. And remember this is a 2 in 1 solution. Let's leave this here and go straight to the second um, expression. If we equate this to 0, it becomes quadratic equation as well. As well. Let's go there. Okay, so now we've equated it to 0 and um, we can solve it. What method do we use to solve it? Should we use the formula or do we check if we can factorize? Yeah, we can factorize because we can use um, 3 and minus 1 as um, our factors because 3 times minus 1 is minus 3. And 3 minus 1 is 2. So this means that the factors will be x plus 3 and x minus 1. So we equate this to 0. To go ahead, our x plus 3 is equal to 0 or x minus 1 is equal to 0. x is equal to minus 3 or x is equal to plus 1. This means that x equals minus 3 or 1 from the second quadratic equation. Now, let's bring the four solutions together. I'm going to call this my x1, which is minus 3. Okay, then I'll get the x2, which is 1. Then, to get the x3, is from what we got before. We got 1 as minus 1, then minus, okay, let's just plus, minus 1 plus 2i, okay, and then the other one, I will have x4 to be equal to minus 1 minus 2i. So these are the four solutions to the equation. Thank you for watching to the end, and if you love this video, subscribe to my channel and share to your friends thank you for always supporting and watching my video